I am meteorologist Doug Myers with your forecast for the brand new week and yesterday was a warm one upper 70s and low 80s hopefully you got outside to enjoy it was a really nice day today more cloud cover and we will have a wide range in temperatures today because there will be more sun south of I-70 that's where it's going to be warmer but with more cloud cover and a low chance for rain and it may be a thunderstorm temperatures will be stuck in the 50s and 60s so keep this in mind it's going to depend on where you are and how much clouds that there will be which will be more so than sun but we'll continue to keep an eye on it and also the chance for rain and thunderstorms winds aren't going to be terrible today we could have a few higher gusts here and there but generally speaking should be at most 20 miles per hour for most areas for today. More concerning is the winds for tomorrow as uh, we'll have winds out of the south and increasing and could be very strong by late in the afternoon hours. We'll definitely be keeping a close eye on this as we head into the 5 o'clock hour on your Tuesday. But uh, this combined with warm temperatures and low relative humidity values, especially for our western communities, that is uh, leading to a potential fire weather hazard for our western communities. Now, it's still going to be a fire hazard for our eastern communities just because of the strong winds but the humidity is expected to be higher in fact uh, we are monitoring a dry line that uh, will lead to humid conditions for at least a portion of the day and for mo a portion of northeast kansas and then once that dry line moves through really knocking our temperatures uh, our humidity down i should say and then eventually a cold front does push through so almost like what happened late last week I can't completely rule out some spotty showers and thunderstorms today, but I'm really not expecting it to be a major factor at all. It's going to be more of a nuisance. Yes, we need the rain, but this is not going to be meaningful rainfall at all. Even an isolated thunderstorm, it would be very isolated. Uh, for those that might get a brief downpour, it's still not going to be very much rainfall. As we head into tomorrow, I think there's a little bit more cloud cover here than what most models are indicating, uh, but you can see how it does clear out uh, by the afternoon, leaving us with sunny skies. And then we're keeping an eye on a chance for storms as we head towards Tuesday night. Now, this particular model has a very narrow line developing around 9, 10 o'clock and pushing eastward fairly quickly. So a very short window of time where storms could develop. So the severe weather threat for tomorrow is a very, very, very conditional risk and in a very short window of time frame that this happens late tomorrow into tomorrow evening. But whatever we get, hail is going to be my number one concern. Yes, there's also concern for strong winds. Of course, it's going to be a windy day regardless, but uh, we will also be keeping an eye on that as well. Very low risk for a tornado the way it looks right now, and I still think the higher risk is going to be well off to our east as we head into uh, tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. In the meantime, our only chances for rain that are very small chances today, Tuesday afternoon, and into the evening hours, and then Sunday night we're really not talking about a whole lot of rain. In fact, taking a look at the European model, most of the rain is going to be along and east of Highway 75, and the GFS has a lot less rainfall than the European. So, not much. And then taking a look at the Weather Prediction Center, you'll notice that at times over the next seven days, it's going to be mainly for our eastern communities. Again, as far as today is concerned, might have a little bit heavier rainfall that uh, gets more than a tenth of an inch just north of I-70. And then for tomorrow, again, it's mainly going to be east of Highway 75. So, for the next two days, with our highest uh, chances for rain, at least here in the short term, we're talking about some areas not getting anything at all, but also some areas, maybe a few isolated spots, getting more than a quarter inch. But it's going to be closer to a quarter inch rather than a half inch, where you see that uh, darker green color. So again, don't expect a whole lot over these uh, next couple days and for the week ahead. Big time cooldowns expected for the second half of the work week, especially for Wednesday and Thursday. Back down in the 50s. At least we'll have sunny skies, though, but it will be much cooler. In fact, we're talking about temperatures in the 20s, most likely for Thursday morning. And then we do start to warm back up Friday through the weekend with that uh, chance of storm sunny night and the possibility for cooler temperatures as we head towards uh, early next week. There's a little bit of uncertainty in the computer models on just how cool early next week is going to be. So that'll be something that we'll continue to keep an eye on. In the meantime, just stay weather aware over the next couple of days with our rain and storm chances. Have the umbrella close by, but do not be surprised if you don't get anything at all over the next couple of days because it's a very good possibility that that could happen depending on where you are. So just keep an eye on the radar and keep an eye on the latest forecasts as well. Have a great day.